Here is part of the core team that's worked on this project from the beginning. Here's Dan, Zinn, Josh, Snezhna, Sabrina. Say hi, Sabrina. Hello. Eva and Allison. As you can see, we have, we have no bugs, so don't look at the bug list. We're all ready to go. Um, huge thank you to the team. Does anybody have anything to say? Dan, you're on the spot. Tell us I'm something interesting. Spot. How do I feel about it? Well, it's going to be a great political season, and I'm looking forward to a lot of wonderful um, excitement over the next couple of weeks and years as people put this API into use and uh, come up with some crazy ideas that we have absolutely no idea what they're going to do. It's great. Uh, great point. Excellent point. You're still hired. Zinn, uh, it's not your job. We just want a good comment. Um, it has been a very interesting project for me. I joined the White Pages uh, at the beginning of the year, and this was like a project where I worked on as part of the Hack Week, which is really um, a very uh, interesting and creative way that White Pages has adopted to not only bring product uh, to market in a very creative way, but also to leverage people's ideas. And I, I, I'm very enthused, and I enjoyed myself, and it's a very interesting API that help people can make good use of it. Wow, I'm totally going to slip you a 20. Um, uh, anyone have anything else to add? Sabrina, Eva? We've tried to break it, and we're failing, and that's just really sad for QA. Eva, so you've done. I've been trying to make it for the last three months. <laughs> Excellent. We'll stop finding blocking bugs like in an hour or so. <laughs> well, thank you. And there's Allison, who's making sure people can find and see the API when we're finished. That's all Allison has to say. Um, thank you to everyone. Hello, I'm Bruce from White Pages, and I want to show how easy it is to register and use the new White Pages API. To start, here we are at the developer portal. This is developer.whitepages.com. From this portal, you can see how to get started and sign up for your own API key, some sample applications that we've developed using the API, the documentation for the API, and our discussion forums, where you can exchange messages with the developers of the API, as well as other application developers who are using the API. First things first, Let's walk through how you register for the API. To do this, on the home page, there's a click, a link for registering for the API. We'll click on that and walk through. In this case, I've already got an API, so I'm going to uh, give myself a fictitious last name here. But I simply fill in the fields, identifying myself, my email address, uh, the username that I would like to have and my display name, which will show in the comments if I join the discussion forums, and select a password for myself. Having done that, I click the button to register, and I will now receive an email uh, to confirm my registration. So having registered for an account at the White Pages API, I now go to my email program and see the confirming message has been sent to me. I click on the link which confirms that I've received the email that is in fact a valid email that I've registered with and I'm successfully registered. Having done that, my next step is actually register to get an API key. When you actually use the White Pages API, every request contains your unique API key. So here's the link that I just got from my email and I'll click on it to proceed to the next step going to now register my application, uh, talk about the kinds of things that I can do, um, discuss whether how many people will use it, what it will do, put a short description of it, um, whether it's commercial or not, and so on, um, put some information about where I heard about the API and my preferred output format. Having completed all those things, I'll now go confirm the terms of use. So here this is the legal document describing the terms of use. For the purpose of this demo, I've read this off screen, but I'll go to the very bottom of it here. And there's a link to click that I agree to this document, I agree to these terms, and I'll now be issued an API key. I've now been issued an API key. I'm now a full-fledged uh, developer ready to use the API 
and able to write my own applications using my own API key. Having registered for an API key and confirmed my email address, I now need to wait 10 minutes for that new account to become active. During that time, let me go back to the developer portal, developer.whitepages.com, and I can look around and see the kinds of things I can do here. Um, amongst other things, there are a number of sample applications, very simple query builder, uh, an Outlook integration called the Outlook search bar, who called me, which is a JavaScript application using Ruby on Rails, and map integration, showing the use of our API along with the Google Mapping API and the Geolocator API. I also have on the developer portal the documentation for the API, including methods describing the kinds of searches I can do, find person, reverse phone, reverse address, and the kinds of responses that I can get from the API. It also contains a data dictionary showing each of the elements that could return to me, the schema definition for the XML returns, optional JSON output format, and answers to frequently asked questions. And lastly, the developer forums where you can send messages and respond to messages from other developers or developer of the API. So let's look quickly at some of the applications here. Query Builder, this is perhaps the simplest possible application. It's a simple HTML form which simply builds up a query and then sends it to the API. If we look at the application itself, here it is, simple form. Um, for the find person search, we enter person's name, optionally their house number, optionally their street, optionally their city, and so on, and it will return the people from the database uh, who match that query. There's a reverse phone query, same thing. We give it a phone number, and it will return to us people that have that phone number, and so on. So for this example, let's try doing a reverse phone query. We'll enter a phone number, and remember we need to always include an API key for every query, and conduct our search. In this case, we see the website's declined to show our web page, which means uh, HTTP 403. This means we've uh, managed to make our query within the 10-minute window, so we're going to turn the recorder off, go offline here for 10 minutes, and we'll turn when our time has elapsed. Okay, so here we are back again. Our 10 minutes has elapsed, so we're back at the query builder, and we'll try our query again. And this time, our API key has become active, and so we see the XML response, which is the results of that reverse phone query. Um, and in fact, here is uh, Mike Smith with this phone number at 2468 Main Street. One other thing we can do is up in the address line URL, we can, we can edit and add to that. In this case, let's add the optional output type for um, JSON. So we'll enter uh, the output type keyword and set it to equal JSON, all caps, and repeat that query. In this case, our response is uh, the same listing, the same search has been done, but the output type is JSON. So here we see the listing in JSON. 